On today's gear guide, I want to talk about uh, the equipment you need to be successful targeting early season smallmouth. Now, uh, when I think early season for smallmouth, I'm thinking uh, immediately before and after the spawn. Water temperatures 50 to 60 degrees. And uh, the rods and reels we use are very basic. You probably already own them. It's how we set them up that's important. So first, we're going to talk about the uh, actions and lengths on the rods. Uh, both of these are identical. They're medium light power extra fast action. These are not whippy noodle rods. I want a rod that uh, if I get a bite, I can set the hook and drive the hook home uh, right away. Uh, we have uh, an Okuma Helios reel on the rod to the rear, and we have an Apixer Okuma on the rod to the front. And the way we have them spooled up uh, is different. Uh, that reel at the back, we have some fine diameter Suffix 832 braid on that reel. And what I love about that line is very minimal stretch, very fine diameter. Uh, some of the early season smallmouth trips that I've taken recently, we've been fishing small rivers with lots of current. That fine diameter is great for fishing really light baits like 1 16th or 1 8th ounce marabou jigs. That's a situation where you don't want the monofilament. The monofilament's gonna have that extra lift in the line because of the larger diameter, and it's actually hard to get that light jig down near the bottom. So that's a braid application all day long in my book. The rod and reel closest to me here, that is on the Apixer. We're fishing Suffix Advanced Monofilament. What I really like about that line is it's got some extra uh, diameter to it, but with very limited stretch. That's what really sets that line apart. Uh, and why I use that line is if I'm fishing in an area where I want to keep that bait up and out of some heavy cover, say there's a fallen tree, and I want to get that lure down in the water, but not down into the structure, that's the line I'm going to choose. That extra diameter uh, in current really slows down the fall rate and allows me to control that bait in a situation where I'm not looking to get it down near the bottom. And then combine that suffix advance with its very limited stretch, you still get really good hook sets. It uh, is a really different monofilament in that when you go to set the hook, it doesn't feel like you're connected through a rubber band. Very quick, precise and powerful hook set. So those are the two rod and reel setups that I think you really need when you're out there fishing early season smallmouth. One braid, fine diameter, and uh, spool the other one up with a low stretch monofilament like Suffix Advanced. You got your bases covered for any scenario you're likely to encounter. For additional content related to this video, check out these videos. And don't forget to subscribe to In-Depth Outdoors and Gander Outdoors so you'll never miss a new video.